Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of FIFA 20 Project or Reject here with Sunderland. It is our final episode with FIFA 21 at our doorstep. So we will get through all three games. We're going to sim against Everton. We'll jump into a game against Crystal Palace and we will wrap it up against Chelsea. Hopefully we can go out with a couple victories, some big goals and really finish off this one as we get ready for FIFA 20. Let's get into the sim though. Start with Everton. And we will get into the game here against Everton, and it is a 3-1 victory. Oh, and so unfortunately, we've had a in training injury. Rinaldi goes down with a broken leg for four months. So we'll get into the game here against Crystal Palace. It will be Lopez in the defensive midfielder role. Teixeira checks in at center back, and Henry comes in for the injured Rinaldi. And we'll get this one underway. Bukoja gets the ball here. Bacorny. Bacorny lays it out nicely. Lopez quickly into the box here for Sunderland. Tight aim. Can he beat him? He does. Bottom corner. Lopez finds the back of the net. Sunderland with not much of the ball so far in 20 minutes. Crystal Palace has held it in our end. We finally break loose and get a good ball in. Lopez makes the drive, gets the shot away, and makes it 1-0. Oh, Gallup off the kickoff, intercepts it and driving fast now. Trying to get up the field, has to hold up a little bit. Taken down, it will be a free kick. And should, you, should, you would think that'd be a car. It was a little aggressive there. 30 yards out now. Gala will try and put this one in the back of the net. Takes a good rifling shot and it's knocked away by Edwards. Gallo gets the ball here to Vukoja. Trying to split the defenders around one. Goes wide now to Pitchler. Pitchler looking for it into the box. Looking to find someone at the top. Has it to Vukoja. Finds Bacorny who rifles a shot into the back of the net. And just like that, it's 2-0. Here is Sunderland. Come alive at the end of the season. Just trying to finish off with some momentum. They find two goals. And it's 2-0 over Crystal Palace. Gallo. Quickly up to Vukoja. Vukoja, can he find it through to Bailey? Bailey on a run, has a chance, knocks it back, and it's sent to Vukoja, who sends it wide. And that will do it. We will go into halftime. We have the two goals. It's a slow first half, but we'll come out with the lead here in the first 45. Corny gets on the ball, trying to drive past his man, gets past him, now into the box, looking to center it, has Bailey right there, it's into a defender, second chance though, sits at his feet, and he'll put it home to open up the second half, it's going to be 3-0 Sunderland here against Crystal Palace. Oh, Crystal Palace driving in nicely to share, trying to cut him off, they get a big shot away, and Durante's there, sir. Grabs the header on the deflection and makes the save. It keeps the clean sheet. Ball goes out for Visnage. He'll hold up. Moves it back into Bailey, who makes a great run. Free run into the box. Scoots it along. Gallo has an empty net to put it home. And that will make it four for Sunderland on the day. Gallo puts in the final dagger in the 82nd minute. Visnage sneaks it through. Bailey, if he's on sides, can he finish this one? He does. And we will finish with a final goal and make it 5 to nil as the offense comes alive in this one. We will make it five goals today. A great ball there by Visnage. Bailey, lucky to be on sides there, puts it home, gets another one for the day. And we will take three points here against Crystal Palace. So we will get into our final game of the season here against Chelsea. We'll stick with the same lineup. Let's see how we do here. Let's see if we can finish off with a victory. And we'll get this one underway. Corny gets the ball here, tries to send it in. Gallo, nice play there, flips it up. Corny keepers out of position, comes off his line, not in time. And it's a one to nil lead for Sunderland off the kickoff, two minutes in. A beautiful play there by Gallo too to loft it up to him. The keeper just comes out, gets in no man's land, and Bacorny has a wide open net to put it home. 
Bailey centers to Vukoja. Has Gallo on a run. Can he get behind the defense? One man to be taken down, though, right as he got to the edge of the box. Corny off the deflection. Gets it off to Bailey. Bailey now. Can he center it here for Lopez? He does. Back to Gallo. Quick angle. Can't hold. He puts it home. Keeper couldn't react. 2-0 Sunderland here in the first 10 minutes of the game. A beautiful play there. Lopez. Gallo could have been off sides. Maybe could have taken it himself, but goes to Gallo. It's a tight angle. Just launches it at the net and beats the keeper. Top of the box here. Chelsea's get behind it. And Bolo puts it home. Okora couldn't match him. And they will get a goal of their own. And they make it a game here 2-1. to one. As they just get a good ball in, couldn't break up that pass in time, and Okora a little late getting over. Vukoja slips through. Picorni moves it back. Lopez free run into the net, bar down into the back of the net. What a beauty. Lopez all alone in the middle of the box as everyone looks to go to Gallo, and he'll put it in right past the keeper, just underneath the crossbar. Makes it 3-1 to one in a two-goal lead yet again. Bailey moving up the field, long ball, looking for Picorni. Picorni, a lot of space here in the middle. What are they going to do? Do they come out? He'll send a cross in, looking for Gallo. It's a little behind, couldn't get his head on it. But Sunderland looking dangerous here against Chelsea. Wide here to Bailey, edge of the box, looking to center it. Can he find it here? Lopez right in front. Oh, and he makes the save on him and knocks that one away. And that will do it. We will go into halftime up three to one. Oh, and Chelsea find it through the traffic. Teixeira was in front, but couldn't break it up. And it's a three to two game here. 60th minute, Chelsea find another. While they drive through the middle, can we get back in time? Lopez does, gets his foot in front of it and knocks it away. Corner here to Chelsea. They'll send it into the box. Going to be headed back into trouble and knocked away by Pitchler, who's in front of the net. Still in danger, though, as they get into the box again. Pulisic pulls it, and Surer makes the save. Valley charging forward here. Can he make something happen? Has Gallo there. Gets it to him. Gallo now moves it back in. Visnage. Visnage back into Valley, who started it. Gets the shot taken down in the box as they fight back in time. Valet gets the ball, has a through ball here to Gallo. Gallo going to take the shot himself, and it was a tough angle. Gets the ball back in, but Chelsea will take over possession. Oh, Durante heads it back into danger. Sir, though, denies the Chelsea player, and he'll keep it out for a corner kick. Long searching ball will find Okora behind the defense. Going to drive forward here. Needs men to get in the box. Holds up here. Centers it for Sunderland. No. Damn it. This niche taps along as Lopez, who will get into the box. Can he find it through? Gallo has a chance. Takes the shot, but it's a soft one. And the keeper will make the save. One final push here for Chelsea. As we get into the final minutes, they'll go wide. Bailey picks him up. Has a chance here, and they'll just pass it back. And that should do it. A final attack. That turns into nothing. And Sunderland finish off the season with three victories. The final one here against Chelsea. Three to two as we get the victory. <laughs> and really withstood a lot of offense from them. 13 shots. And we'll take the final three points of the season as we get into the final game here against Chelsea. So we finish the season here and Gallo picks up the golden boot, 32 goals on 38 matches. Back-to-back -back golden boots for him. He had 50 goals last year in, er, in the championship, has 32 this year. We see some of our former players there can see us out on 20 goals. And do we have anyone else? George Wood only on 16, really falling off his George Wood, but Marchenko picks up 14. We had Bacorny on 14, so pretty decent effort offensively from a few of our players, both formal and current, will take a look at the assistants. Picorni, who pick up 16. Vukoja on 12, really came alive towards the end. Rinaldi on 9. And do we have anyone else in there? Bailey on 7. Can say how Guzman Marchenko of Scunthorpe pick up 7 apiece. 
and clean sheets. Yidget takes home the Golden Glove, our former goalkeeper there still at Scunthorpe United. 20 clean sheets on the year, and I do not think we even, we might have had one or two. And that will do it though. Oh, sir, there with seven clean sheets. And we finish the season on 49 points, just outside of the top 10. So not a bad showing, considering this is our first year back in the Premier League and still have Scunthorpe United, the team that we built, 98 points, will take home the Premier League title. An unbelievable goal differential, plus 65. I don't know. Well, we finished positive, so that's a good thing to hang our hat on as we go into the offseason and move on ready for FIFA 21. And that will do it for us here in FIFA 20. The season has come to an end. We'll just kind of scroll through some of our players here. But I want to thank you guys so very much for following along this year with the Youth Edition, with the FC Cincinnati series, the Player Career Mode, and now Project Reject. It is the final day. We will get ready for the Youth Edition here in FIFA 21 and also our project or our uh, rebuild series that we will do with Inter Miami. So it should be a great couple of series that we have going. We should have a good FIFA 21. Hopefully career mode takes an improvement each and every year, but I want to thank you guys so much for checking it out. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.